guys, welcome to Being Draco. Um, today we are going to do, as you've seen, a video on impacted femoral pores, guys, and you know that can be a big problem. Okay, so I'm sorry for the lighting. First and foremost, I am actually sitting at a dragon's tank, so that's for the poor lighting. Um, but I have a big thing for you today, okay? We are going to do a debut with our new dragon. He is a rescue, and we just got him yesterday. So, I really want you to guys to meet our new dragon. He is two years old, and his name is Thor. Now, remember, he is a rescue. He is a little skinny. I do know this. We are working on that. Um, he was a little dehydrated when, he, when, I, when I got him. We have gave him several little scrub downs and let him soak, 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 soak. And he has water, and he has plenty, plenty, plenty to eat. So, he is pooing and stuff. Uh, we're waiting on that fecal test, so... Let's, you know, keep your fingers crossed for that one. All right, guys. So, are you ready to see Thor? Here we go. So, guys, this is Thor. He is a two-year-old beardy, of course. He is a loving, gentle guy. So, he loves to be down in the floor playing at all times. As you can see, he did not want in Mama's hands. So, we're just going to let him be in the floor and... We're going to get on with this video, okay? So, today, obviously, we're talking about femoral pores, as I said before. Now, I want to show you a little something on this guy right here. All right? He has femoral pores right here, okay? And you see they are slightly impacted, all right? So, we're going to go over that, all right? These pores are located on the underside of the lizard in a V shape that go over the anus, okay? They have several purposes, but can also cause a problem for your pet. Pores and their secretions are also still somewhat a mystery. In males, these openings increase in size as they age, but they stay fairly small in females. Seasonal changes also occur in males, suggesting the glands play a role in reproduction, such as releasing pheromones to attract potential mates. Some studies have shown that when male reproductive organs are removed, the femoral pores shrink. What's inside these pores, you ask? Well, some secretions are made up of keratin, which is the same thing that's in your nails, your hair, guys. We all know what that is, all right? While other secretions have a more lipid substance, more secretions may be produced, and the pores may even protrude during mating season. What's their function, you may want to know? Attracting mates and help reptile and humans determine the sex of a lizard. And you, the only um, animals that I've actually heard with the femoral pores, sorry about the tongue tied, but um, are iguanas and bearded dragons. That I know, I mean, I can't quote on that, but as far as I know, that is the only animals that have them. Um, they also use these pores to submit a secretion to rub on their um, habitat and all this, all their territory. Um, that way, when other beardies come around, they know, well, hey, this is somebody else's place. I better go on uh, about my business, you know. Because we know how bad these guys are in the wild, and we know how bad they can get if they need to fight. Now... Impacted from all pores. This is something you need to watch out for, guys. In the wild, femoral pores naturally fall out while walking or rubbing on rocks or tree branches. However, in captivity, things don't always go as intended, as we all know. You know, if you own a bearded dragon, you know this. And these secretions may cause pores to get impacted. An impacted pore is basically when there is fluid seeping out around the plugs, 
the pore is red or swollen, or they seem to be sore when you touch your bearded dragon's thighs, um, or, you know, you'll notice them, um, in their cage, like when they're crawling on something, on the life box, you know, it's hurting. So, you might want to check that if you see your bearded dragon, you know, it looks like they're in pain. Um, so, I am going to show you guys a little on what you should do when you have a, now, my number one recommendation, number one recommendation, go to your exotic pet vet, okay guys? This is my number one recommendation, things you should always do when anything's wrong with your animal, go to the vet first and foremost. But this is also what you can do if, say, you don't get paid for a couple of days or what have you. So, this is what you'll need. And this is basically all you'll need. A toothbrush. All you need, and I'm sure you already have one if you have a beardy because you know they love these when they have a bath. So, here I'm going to use Thor to show you what you need to do. So, normally I would have Thor in the bathtub, but I can't really get my camera set up in that angle. So, what we're going to do, I'm actually going to do this in the sink, even though Thor is pretty big. But, I, you know, I can pretty much show you what needs to be done here. So, you're going to warm, you know, give them some, a, a pretty warm, you know, run your water to where it is. Just about what you would a baby. You don't want to get too hot or too cold. You know, test it on your wrist. That's what I always do. Because, you know, that's a sensitive part of your body. Now, he knows what we're going to do, so he's getting a little aggravated because he already had this done today. But, with them pores, baby, you can never get enough soap, let me tell you. Okay. So, I've got his water going, and we're just going to run that and let it fill up a little bit. And I'm just going to rub him and kind of calm him down just a little. He's been through a lot. He's been through two owners in the past week. He did not have hardly anything in his tank. All he had was a hive that was actually for hamsters, which you can use, but that's all he had, you know? And we know that these guys need a lot more than just a hive and a basking one. I mean, a lot more. You see yourself in the mirror. No, Jesus is up in the mirror. Dude. No. Mama let all the water out, door. Can you believe that? All of it. Okay. So, I've got my water ran. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him down in the water. All right. He's not liking this at all. It's my philosophy when it comes to bearded dragons. Better safe than sorry. So, you got your towel. You got your toothbrush water, and of course, your beardy. So, what you do is, now a lot of people will lay them on their backs. I don't do that because as we all know, when they're on their backs, they don't breathe. They cannot breathe once they're on their backs. So, what I do is I just kind of hold them up. So, I take him, and I just hold him up against me right here. Once he's soaked for about 10 minutes, and I'm just going to brush these. You see? And he had this done this morning. And he didn't mind it that much, so. And you just brush them. And his are very small, so I'm hoping they will fall out fairly easy. Now, Draco has impacted four moral pores. Not Draco, I'm sorry. Now, Thor has impacted for moral pores because when I got Thor, there was nothing, like I said, nothing in his cage. Not cage, but you know, his vivarium. Except for a little, actually I'll show you. This. And a dog feed bow. A small dog feed bowl. This was all that was in his cage. So basically, so basically, if your dragon has nothing in their cage, such as a rock or a tree stump or a tree limb to rock.
these femoral cords on to get them off of them, then they're going to get impacted 100% of the time. Um, so, number one thing to prevent femoral cords is good husbandry, guys. You want to keep that temperature and that humidity right. You want to make sure that they have rocks and, or tree stumps or something in there that's going to, they can rub these pores on. You want to make sure they have their hide. You want to make sure they're, um, obviously their habitat is big enough. You want to make sure, I mean, you want to make sure they have the proper lighting, UVB, uh, basking. You want to, I mean, there's a lot going on with bearded dragons. My number one thing, if you can't take care of a bearded dragon, don't have one. So, now we're going to get Thor out and I'm going to put him back in his habitat so he can bask a little bit. Hopefully rub these pores. Um, he's been in here for a good five minutes now. Um, so, we're going to, hopefully he will rub the, on these pores. That's what I'm hoping. I'm giving him a few soaks a day, warm soaks, to loosen these up really good. And, um... You know, he's been through a lot, so he is pretty... Obviously, I think his first owner, who my heart goes out to, because she did have to get rid of him and his brother, because she was almost getting ready to pass away. Um, even though I think she should have went about it in a better manner, um, by giving them to someone that knew what they were doing, wasn't scared of them, and could take care of them, my heart does go out to her, because she was in a hard situation. But, guys, if you ever get in a situation where you cannot take care of your bearded dragons or her situation, then you want to make sure, I mean, first of all, don't try to make money off of it. Their health is for, uh, first and foremost. You don't want to worry about money. Um, you want to make sure the person you're giving them to, first of all, is not scared of them and won't touch them. Call me rough. <laughs> Let her feel its head. No. <laughs> Did you get, is that my lighter you stole from me? Uh, is that my lighter? <laughs> no, feel his head, it feels like a shell. Like a nutshell. Oh, God, he's moving. No, he won't move. He won't hurt you, I promise. It feels like a nutshell. <laughs> it's not slimy or nothing. <laughs> Second of all, is very educated in bearded dragons, and third, has everything they need for your bearded dragon, okay? You don't want to give them to somebody who has a cat and lets the cat in with them. Yeah, that's what I went through. So, guys, thank you for watching today. We really appreciate it. Come on, Thor, let's say goodbye. Thanks for watching Thor's debut. We are going to do way more videos with Thor as time passes. He is such a great beardy. He likes to play ball. I'm sure you're going to see a lot of Thor. He is on our Instagram now. That is being underscore Draco. And we also have a Snapchat, which is being underscore Draco 2019. Make sure you add us on both of those. Now, guys, let me tell you. Go down, smash that like button. Go down, smash that subscribe button if you already have it. We love you guys so so much. Please join us for our next video. We're going to do a video on shedding and so much more to complete this 10th video series. Um, I'm so happy to be back with you guys after a short illness, but we're back and we're raring to go. Say goodbye, Thor.